Sup guys, Overdog here, and I want to talk about the Deutsche Bank situation that we got on Friday. We also titles that uh, Deutsche Bank stocks uh, sliding. If you consider in crypto media, it's like everywhere. It's the Deutsche Bank collapsing. Um, as always, it's blown out of proportions. As always, I'll try to separate fact from facts and give my two cents here. So what do we know for sure? On Friday, uh, Deutsche Bank CDS created default swaps. Uh, that's basically insurance against uh, uh, bank uh, default, a potential bank default. They shoot through the roof out of nowhere, just went straight up. Uh, obviously, in the current conditions um, of banking crisis, uh, that caused a lot of panic and uh, stock started going down and it actually at some point it went down right like uh, 14 and a half percent not only deutsche bank but basically deutsche dragged all the european banks all the major banks lost from like five to eight uh, percent in a stock price obviously media picked it up trying to find a reason mostly i think it was attributed to the um, UBS Credit Suisse for the concerns about the deal, the ca the contagion, um, possible like issues with the bank. But actually, none of the people in the banking sector, at least from what I saw and what I heard, uh, could say anything negative and could potentially point to the problems with the Deutsche. Because unlike Credit Suisse, Deutsche is highly profitable bank. So there is no real reason why would that happen. But actually, in uh, one of the publications, I saw the potential explanation, and I think it's the correct one. On the Friday morning, Deutsche Bank officially redeemed 1.5 billion of their AT2, uh, that's additional tier 2 notes, that would do uh, 2028. And it's been redeemed at 100% of their principal amount together with accrued interest to, but not exceeding, the redemption date. So what does this have to do with uh, credit default swaps? These two products can actually be used to hedge one another. So when 1.5 billion of those notes were liquidated, uh, traders who were hedging with those against CDS, they were basically left with an unhedged position. So in order to mitigate the, this risk, they had to cover their position in the opposite direction. So if they were short CDS, they had to, they have to went long CDS shortly to basically negate the, uh, their position. And I think that's what's actually happened. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm not trying to convince anybody, but I think it makes sense because if that caused the initial spike in CDS and basically this spike alone caused everything else because there were no other merits for that in this particular case. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Just drop in my two cents. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and drop a like and I'll see you soon.